This is my Norton 16H, model 16H, 500cc side valve. 7900 board and stroke. Belonged to my father. I borrowed it off him 38 years since and never ever given him it back. Unfortunately, he passed away now and it now belongs to me. I'll try and give you a bit of information about bike. I'm not saying it's a standard bike, but it's as I received it or as my father received it. Obviously in 1932, somebody spent a bit of an odd because had the panel tank with the instruments and the speedo, which were optional extra, a lighting kit. Electric on, dynamo, battery, Lissex aero seat. So basically in its day it had all bells and whistles I would imagine. The stemmy archer gear change down there is actually <laughs> not the original, the original would fit on the tank up here with have a, a gate on the tank and a long gear lever which passed through here and back down this way. Unfortunately they were prone for cracking tank up here. So at some time somebody had fitted this positive stop stemmy archer unit. You could point the lever up here towards the tank and have it as an hand shift or as I have it down here so I can use it with my foot. To be quite honest I couldn't get on with the hand shift and preferred the foot shift. This is the tap which regulates the oil flow which is over oil and you can regulate it down. This is the cylinder wall feed which actually feeds oil direct into the cylinder or around the piston and uh, if you're doing fast road but you just adjust that up till you get a whiff of blow smoke in the back. The lock on the toolbox is off a chinny suitcase. So when you see them on eBay and they're making good money, that's why people are looking for them for the Norton. Years of manufacture, it came out in, I think it was 1911 as the Model 16. Then roughly about 1920 it became the 16H, H being for the own model and not export. And it continued through to manufacture until 1953 or 4, something like that, I'm not so sure. Uh, the, the tappets, there's two grease nipples here. You have to grease the tappets every 80 miles. This one's uh, a later one with adjusters on. Pre, I think it was 1920, I think you used to have to file the valve stem off to get enough clearance onto the, uh, the valves. Then I was thinking it was about 1922. They put adjusters in. Uh, pre-29, I believe the mags were at the front. This is one of the first engines with the mag at the rear. Uh, I think they were pretty much very similar to the engines right up until the end. There were various configurations of uh, where the valves were covered up and not covered up and whatever you don't want to do, that sort of thing. Like, other than that, I'm not so sure there's a lot of difference. I mean, if there is, just put it in comments down below. But it's, it's, I'm only telling you what I understand of it and I'm certainly no expert on these. Anyway, we'll get out for a ride and see what we think.
stuck here now, so we should be all right. The ratios in the gearbox are not so good, you seem to have to uh, rev it quite a lot in first and second and it's such a big jump to third. these roundabouts here if you're coming up to a roundabout just look a little bit of advance off scoop round good gear down really got to be steady and watch what's happening come out of here so fast and then of course you haven't got the brakes to get the thing stopped just you keep it in third gear and just keep it rolling pretty easy driving Checking to make sure that I've turned the oil tap on. It's a bit of a disaster, but well, I mean, that way it's over here. Right, I'll have a cut through this little village here. These bloody speed humps on these old bikes are a pain. These ones are not so bad, you can drive around them. it happens this what village I was born in I think there must be nearly twice as many houses in it now than what there was when I was born here when you're riding one of these and it doesn't need to be much of a pothole you're a fair old shot through your wrists and that if you hit a big pothole the place I 
on the left, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, is better than nature reserve. Making a right turn just here, so got to keep my ears open a bit. And I'm in the second gear. Oh, I've had a crash with a velo here the other week. Uh, don't really know what happened. Getting run it a bit wide each corner into the car park there, but like I say, like I say, I don't really know. Now there's a bumpy road at the top of this hill. We stood up pegs when we go over it, otherwise it nearly, nearly shakes my teeth out. This is it here. There you go. behind me because we're going to be back in next right hand turn you always need a good eye behind you because uh, because of this age there were no brake lights I mean, what, what most people forget these motorcycles came without lights, on, speedometer. I mean, speedometers didn't become compulsory until I think it was about 19. I'm going to say 35, but I could be wrong. And then two years later, you had to have them illuminated, but they said you didn't need one. If you're not careful and you get a big bottle, the seat bottom's out and it gives you the right shock up your back so if you see out of a bump you know you're going to hit it, you need to get your weight on your legs it's either that or I'm getting a bit of a fat get or springs is getting tired under the seat We're down to about 20 miles an hour there in top gear. There's a nice rigid road, so we'll just get a bit of weight off the seat. I'm going to be making a left hand turn, just around this bend. We're going to make a second gear.
it's a nice cool day today, it's not so bad. But I just did on the PFJR and it was 28 degrees, absolutely stifling. I used to have a filly and seat on this bike and basically I took it off when me and my wife first got married we used to go out on it together and the mud guards were getting a bit tired because it's still got original mud guards been welded up a bit here there and everywhere and of course I thought the extra weight on the rear mud guard would break it so I did away with the rear seat so of course I can't take Mrs on back now although she probably wouldn't go on it Yeah. 